I got nowhere else to go. And that's it for the Eastwood Fender Roller. Not a sponsor. Wish they were. Uh, Eastwood makes a lot of good products, and um, this is the only one I have in my shop. So if you guys are watching and you'd like to hook up Fearless Mods with some pretty sweet Eastwood equipment, look me up. Oh yeah, baby. Since it's been blue and done, um, and now it's pretty much done, and so I don't know why I'm using air quotes so much, but sure is fun. Hey guys, what is up? It's Biff, and you're here in the Fearless Mods Garage where today we're going to do just a little bit of work to the STI. It's been a while since this thing has been on the channel, and in fact, it's been a while since I've been on the channel. I've been at work in here making the walls look like this, and doing some other things which you'll see coming up soon in a video near you. But for now, today, we gotta get this baby ready for track day. I've got an autocross track day coming up on April 10th. I've switched over from my winter snow tires to my summer performance tires. And that means I have my Koenig poke going on here. And that left quarter panel has always been a problem ever since I grafted it in. So we'll take a look at that a little bit more closely. I'll explain to you what we gotta do, uh, how I plan to tackle it, and we'll get her fixed up. So stay tuned. Okay, so as you may recall, we've got these Koenig 18 inch wheels on here with, jeez, I forget how wide the barrel is, but it's wide. And I've got these Continental Extreme Contact Sports on here, 265, 35s, and it's a lot of meat and a lot of poke. I think the offset on these is plus 35. And so therefore, I've got this issue here with this quarter panel that came off of a salvage yard um, Subaru from back when I did the quarter panels. Check that out up here, I think. But anyways, um, this one here has always been shaped more like this. Whereas the one on the right side has always been shaped more like this. So the problem is this edge right here is really sharp and that tire comes up and hits it every time and takes a peel of rubber off of my tire every time I hit a bump. So what I need to do is make this one look more like this one and that means I need to do this to it. Yep, that's right, I'm gonna roll the fender and to do that, I got myself a nice Eastwood fender roller. I plan to do a little more than just try to roll it because I don't just wanna kink it and, and break all the paint along this edge here. Um, I want to maybe cut some slits into it that gives it the room that I need to then be able to roll it. First thing we're gonna do is take the tire off. We'll take a look once we get this off. Yes sir, that's a meaty wide tire right there. And while the poke is freaking incredible, yeah, just causing problems there, so. Let's get some light on the situation, get in here and take a look. All right, so when you look at this a little more closely, you can see on this side, it's pretty flat all up along here. There's actually, well, I'll show you on the other side, a little bit of body filler, a bead that goes along there. Um, but this one is mostly not there. And when you look up in here, you can see a little bit of where the tire has rubbed the paint off and it's rusting and it's this sharp edge right here that every time the tire comes up and hits that is trimming the side. There's not a whole lot of evidence of contact right here, maybe just a little bit. You'll see on the other side that that's our main area that we're making some contact on the other one. Now this side obviously still has a tire on here so we can't quite get to it the same. But you can see this bead of, uh, of body filler on here or, yeah, seam sealer, that's what I mean, seam sealer. And then you can see right here where it's actually doing its little bit of rubbing. Um, it's peeling this away a little bit, shining up the metal just a little bit right here at this corner. Um, but that's about the only place it's making contact. It's not doing it anywhere up here. And honestly, all of this up here feels pretty smooth. There's still a bit of a sharp edge in there and it's still flat. But for the most part, it's, it's much better rounded with no evidence 
of contact really along it. Definitely not like on the other side. There's a little bit of a groove on the other one, but all these marks right here are caused by it coming down and making contact with that fender on the left side. The right side looks like what it should look like. It has just the factory groove there and no real evidence of any rubs on the outside of that tire. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is put some tape along here so that I can kind of just give myself about a here maybe 3 16 tapering off to about an eighth inch the rest of the way and just trim a little bit of that material away. I will heat it up a little bit with the heat gun but I'm only talking about going from about here to here. So only probably 18 inches worth. So when I was working on the STI I had orange tape and I couldn't see it. Now I've got blue tape working on the blue car, but it's light blue, so it should work out. Definitely shorter by a good little bit. And uh, now we will go ahead and get ready to uh, cut some relief slits in there so that we can roll it without trying to apply too much pressure across there. Not real sure how this paint's going to hold up around this inner lip so we might cause some paint problems here but going to try not to and cross our fingers. You can see here where We've got our normal inner flange and then here we start to cut it away and then we got relief slits uh, along the way here to help as we apply the heat and start to try to roll that. Hmm. All right, well let's look at the Eastwood uh, manual here and see there's a way to get that sucker lower. Okay, a little bit more reading and there is a lower setting and so that's where we're gonna move it to right now. There we go, now we're looking better. All right, first we'll just apply a little bit of heat to it. These guns get pretty hot, so I'm gonna keep it pretty far away. Um, don't wanna burn up the paint or anything. Check it with my hand as I go. Call that good for starters. Let's see what we can do here. pretty good that feels much better than it did before uh, back here where I've got a little bit of my Bondo I do have just a little bit of paint cracking going on right on the edge there so I'm done I'm not gonna go any further I don't want to uh, make that any worse we'll have to get that when we go do our next paint touch-ups in all the areas that we've been needing to get touched up on this car since we first painted it uh, maybe one day we'll get to that. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off I'll get you in here and show you a closer look. So I just went ahead and set the parking brake so this thing wouldn't spin around and slap me in the shin. Here is the result of uh, our fender roll. You can see the where we cut the slits. You can see that it's aiming up nicely. You can really start to appreciate how much it kind of pinched in. The gaps at the tops of those uh, slits are what show you uh, how much harder it would have been without those in there because that metal would have ha wouldn't have been able to uh, expand like that. My rubbing problem is going to be about as good as it can be. Now you can see uh, right here I start getting just a little bit of cracking and then down through here. Uh, this is Bondo in this area here where I had patched some uh, rust on the fender that I put on here. 
and so that's not surprising the rest of it up to the front here looks fine but like I say getting back here close into this Bondo it just doesn't give like the paint does in the metal and so therefore we got a little cracking that was kind of expected to be honest okay so now that we got that done let's go ahead and throw the uh, fender liner back in there and slap this wheel back on and and see how it fits to 89 foot-pounds. Oh yeah, baby. That's gonna be a lot better. All right, guys, there you have it. We've got the STI fender rolled on the left to more closely match the factory fender roll on the right side. And now I'm not concerned about getting all these little rubber shards right here that come off and every time I hit a bump and trim my tire with that sharp edge. We took a good little bit of metal out of it and um, cut the slits and then rolled it with the Eastwood fender roller. Worked pretty good. It's not perfect. Um, and there is a little bit of paint cracking, like we said, where the, where the Bondo was. But overall, it looks good. It's gonna ride better. I don't have to worry about hitting as many bumps. And I already had paint cracking up on that fender anyways and so I'm gonna have to eventually paint that, not to mention the burn through whenever I was buffing my paint job back in the day. But uh, it's got a couple little places here and there that needs love, but man, the STI is looking good. This is gonna be great getting it out on, out on the track. I haven't had it on an autocross track since it's been blue and done. So anyway, guys, that's gonna be it. We'll catch you again when we see you out at the track. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe to Fearless Mods, and we'll catch you again real soon. Take care.